To get started, let's go ahead and tap on the green Add button. Tap on Post Student Work. Tap on Drawing. And now let's start by adding a background color to this page. We can change up the background color for each day of the week. So maybe Mondays are blue, Tuesdays are yellow, Wednesdays are a different color, and so on. So that students and families can quickly see at a glance what day that they're looking at. So let's go to the three dots, tap on background. You can choose any of these solid colors or a gradient color. I'm going to go with this gradient color for the blue, and then I'll tap back on the canvas to close up those color options. All right, next, let's add the day of the week and the date across the top. For this, we're going to use our text label tool, so go ahead and tap on that. And then let's type in the day and the date and the year. And then go ahead again and tap outside of that text label. And we're going to stretch this out to be a bit wider. And I'm going to put this right up at the top in the center. I can make it smaller by just squishing in on any of these corner handles until it's the size that I want it to be. All right. Then let's go back to the three dots and shapes. And let's start building a grid across our background of all the different activities or tasks that we want our students to do. So I'm going to choose this blue square with the rounded corners. And I'll tap back on the canvas to close up those color options. I'm going to squish in on the corner here to make this a bit smaller. And I want to have a space across the top here for about six different activities. So maybe I'm going to start with my morning meeting and then I'm going to go here to the three dots and I'm going to duplicate this just to keep the color the same. You could change the color over here with the slider. Um, anytime that it's selected you could just move this slider. I'm going to just stick with this color. Alright, so I have my morning meeting. Next, um, I'm going to have Reader's Workshop, and I want to have room there for about maybe three different tasks or activities. Then I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to duplicate this again, and I'll move this over here, and maybe students will do a phonics activity next, and I'll duplicate that again, and then maybe they'll have their specials class for the day. I'm going to move all of these over just a little bit because I also want to put my meeting code here as well for Google Meet. So I'm going to go back to the three dots, shapes. Again, I'm going to go with that rounded corner square. I'm going to put that over here on the side, but I'm going to change the color of that um, to be a little different. So I'll go with this nice gold color. And then I can just double tap in that or go back to my text tool over here. And I want to put my Google Meet code here. And again, um, just try to make your Google Meet meeting code or nickname unique. And then I'm going to tap here. To select this text label, go to the three dots. I'm going to change the style so that it's transparent um, so that there's no fill. And then I will squish in on the corner to make it fit in that space that I have. All right. Looks pretty good. Okay. Now, maybe in my next row, I want to have a writer's workshop activity. So again, I'm going to duplicate this shape and pull it down into a second row. And in writer's workshop, maybe I'll have my students do two activities or tasks. So I'll make that maybe double wide. And I'm going to copy that. So I'll duplicate again on the three dots. I will move this over and for science, 
again, maybe students will have a couple of activities. And then I want to have uh, a space for office hours. So again, I'm just going to copy one of these shapes. And that might need to be a little bit wider. And I'm going to change that color again to kind of that nice gold color. And I'll double tap on that. And I'm going to type in office hours. Maybe those are 11 o'clock to 11.30. I'll tap off and just squish in with that corner handle until that fits inside of the shape. I also want to have space for the Google Meet app icon. So maybe something like that might be good. Okay. And then a third row here for math. So I'm going to copy this, duplicate that, drag it down into a third row. And maybe in math, students are going to do maybe four different activities or tasks. So we'll make that wider. You could always come back and adjust all of these. Um, but the idea is we want to get kind of a general layout or template that we can just copy and reuse for every day so that we don't have to keep coming back and rebuilding this all the time. All right, and then maybe um, the last thing I'm going to have is a schedule. So I'll copy this shape. Pull that down here. And I'll just make that bigger. And then again, I'll double tap on that. And the word schedule here. Make that smaller. And then I will add the schedule for the day. There we go. And then I will also come over here to the three dots and go up to style and I'll just have all this line up on the left side.